Robzy show! Hey, what's up again? Yeah, I'm wearing the same sweatshirt as the last video, I know. Sometimes I wear the same shirt like a week in a row. Whenever I get home, like from work and just hang out. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people do the same thing. Just throw a shirt on and go with it, right? Uh, I work a full-time job. I'm a radio DJ uh, in Altoona, Pennsylvania for a radio station called Hot 100. That's my current job. That's my current employer, and I, I love what I do. Uh, but if you watch my videos, which this is my third one now, um, you might notice, like, my mouth... It's like, it's like it has a difficult time... Uh, it looks like it's struggling to get the words out on occasion. I have a big tongue. Uh, uh, that was gross. That was real gross. Um, it's called a thrusting tongue. It's like too big for my mouth. It's too wide for my mouth. And I've had this, I've had like, you know, a doctor tell me this, a mouth doctor, ear, nose, and throat doctor, I guess would be the correct term. And uh, sometimes whenever I talk and I, I see myself talking, I think, wow, I can't believe I can get those words out of my mouth. And I stumble over words sometimes. And I've really had to like talk a lot and kind of train myself to talk normally and, and to talk fluently, like enunciate, so you can understand what I'm saying. So I used to mumble a lot whenever I was younger. And my wife says to me sometimes, like, I can't believe that you're able to talk as well as you do with that huge tongue in your mouth. And I, <laughs> I say, yeah, I'm kind of surprised myself sometimes. It's kind of weird that I, I can't actually do it. Um, but I just wanted to say, like, today, that's just one of those things you can't let hold you back. You know, for a long time, I thought to myself, well, I'm not going to be any good in radio, even though I already was in radio and I was already doing it. And uh, I was I was working a night show and an afternoon show. And I, I thought, I'm not going to be able to do it. I, I, I don't have a normal like mouth that's made for broadcasting and, and sometimes I say things weird because of how big my mouth is and I kind of have a lisp and sometimes I kind of mumble and sometimes I kind of jumble words together and I think a lot of times uh, I think a lot of times sorry uh, that people take that automatically right off the bat as well I can't do that profession well I'm not gonna be any good at that but when it comes right down to it uh, it's gonna set a roadblock up for you but it's going to be one of those roadblocks that you can push yourself to overcome and you push yourself past that roadblock. And I think that's the key, right? You want to push yourself past those roadblocks and that'll make you a stronger person in whatever field you're doing. Now, I'm using this as my uh, crutch for my career. I don't know what the crutch for you or your career would be. Uh, maybe you're a, a draw, maybe, maybe you're an artist, you're, you draw, you, you, you illustrate, and you have... Uh, I, I don't know, a missing pinky or something. What? I, <laughs> maybe you have a big thumb. I don't know if that would make a difference. Or maybe you're uh, like a... I don't know. Why am I trying to think of examples? Whatever. You get the idea. Everybody has a crutch. Everybody has something that might hold them back. Um, but the crazy thing is, and, and I've only realized this over the past couple of years, that it doesn't really matter what that crutch is. Other people won't really notice it unless you bring attention to it, which I'm bringing attention to it in my third video. Way to go, Rob. So now everybody's going to know every time that I talk what I what uh, is in my mind, like when I'm trying to get words out. But that's fine because you got to expose yourself. You have to put yourself out there like that and and make that your thing. Like, well, listen, I know I'm not the best at it, that I've worked hard at it, and it's created uh, a real personality for myself. It's, it's turned me into a real uh, character, a real personality, a real person with real problems and real emotions, right? Because once you expose yourself and once you put those flaws and those faults out there, that makes you even more real. And uh, for me, that was always one of the hardest things to uh, wrap my head around is the more you are yourself, the better you're going to be. The more you pretend to be somebody else or try to be somebody else or on video or whatever you're doing, portray yourself as this other person, it's never going to work. You might think that it sounds great, you might think that it looks great, but what's that famous quote? I'm not sure who said it, uh, but the quote is, you can fool some people some of the time, but you'll never fool all of the people all of the time. And if you're fooling people eventually somewhere down the road, and you might reach some sort of success, but you're going to hit a roadblock because you're not being real. Real recognizes real. I know that's a, a rap cliche that I, as a white kid in a small suburban town shouldn't be allowed to say, but I think it's a good uh, quote that can kind of resonate with, with everybody, with my 
people my age and, and people younger uh, and people older too. Real recognizes real. Remember that. I'm trying to keep these videos to around five minutes, so we'll, we'll call it right there. But just remember, everybody has a thrusting tongue. Everybody has a crutch. Something that could set them back. But once you own it and, and get past it and beat it, and I'm still beating mine. I'm still getting past it. I'm doing this video because I'm still getting past it. But I want to let you know early on that it's cool that you have that. Overcome it. Defeat it. And that'll make you that much stronger. Okay? Harder, better, faster, stronger. I'm going to finish with that. Goodbye.